Hi everyone, in today's video I wanted to talk to you about overly propagated succulents. About five years ago I got this beautiful ghost plant that was uh, had a very aged look and I made a video about taking it out of the pot, it was root bound and then I propagated this ghost plant over the years many times. And I noticed in the last year and a half that it wasn't growing anymore. The, the size of leaves kind of shrank. It almost didn't look anymore like a ghost plant. It looked more like a different reptile variety. And it's like it didn't have energy. So I decided to do the final propagation of this plant, take the cuttings and uh, throw away the rest. And I made the video about that about five months ago. I'll post the link in the description. And so I want to show you now, guys, the cuttings that I took five months ago. So you can see how well they have done. So here you go. And this is the smaller pot of the propagations that I took five months ago. Look how leaves got longer, the color is different maybe I'm gonna do before and after pictures so you can see how much healthier this plant looks now so I do think that there is overly propagated succulents and that sometimes for whatever reason your plant has to be reset because it's no longer growing so if you have a very aged uh, stems and maybe plants struggle with pests or you propagated it a lot and you for months haven't seen growth even though it's growing season of that plant I would recommend take the cuttings and reset the plant like I did with the ghost plant so now I want to show you the difference between Vera Higgins that I left in the conservatory that looked great at the beginning of spring and the cuttings that I took and I brought them home and I left them outside through whole summer. I took only five cuttings and I continue propagating them a little bit. But here is my pot of cuttings that I brought here. And here are the two big pots of Vera Higgins that I left at the conservatory. You see guys, they don't look very well. Uh, well, we do have a problem in the conservatory during the summertime. I think in Desert Dome there is a little bit less airflow more problems with pests so they did have repeated mealybugs and aphids but we also propagated these two pots uh, Amanda actually took more cuttings after I did propagation video about four months ago and maybe that all weakened this plant and I want to reset them so I'm going to empty the bigger pot today take the cuttings and restart them and with hope that after I keep them on a recovery here on a rain and natural light, I can bring them back to conservatory in a month. So let's start. I brought some new soil in a case I need it, but I'm also hoping to reuse some of this soil. So I think what I'm going to do is first take the cuttings. Um, I'm going to clean the debris. I have actually just sprayed them with alcohol, so I'm not going to spray them all over again. So I'm just taking about an inch and a half uh, length of stem cuttings. And sometimes they can look really small like these and then you propagate them and they open up and become bigger so, well this one has actually rooted so i'm going to just chop it a little bit this one actually started rooting as well you see the white roots here this one looks pretty sickly uh, infested So a lot of cuttings, guys. Okay, and then I'm going to actually throw away this 
that's left here you can see what's left here I'm gonna try to reuse some of the soil I'm going to add a little bit more of my fresh soil. Well, actually, this is a smaller pot. Oh, it is what it is. Maybe I'm going to make two pots. So, I should have started with cutting these from here. And I'm going to start placing them in the soil. I love when it starts to get colder and we started having outside 50s in the morning. How, what a nice colors they get. This one is rooted, so it's going to be sticking out a little bit. So this doesn't look that great at the moment, guys. But I believe it's going to look much better in a few months. Okay, guys. So from left over here, I think these are actually some leaf propagations. I'm going to create the one more little pot with these. Here it is. And then I'll keep you updated. And uh, here you can see I have propagated this one a few times early spring. I have cut some of them and then tucked in and so to have more branches. And it has some really nice colors here. All right, yeah, that's it for today. Um, thank you guys for watching as always. Thank you for your comments. See you soon in the next video.